So this is the start of my pond path. And uh, at some point in time, somebody took a dozer and punched a hole with a dozer into the woods. It actually goes quite far. I also jumped an old car. Anyway, this is a dozer path that we're going to follow. There's my side path, the river near the river. So we're gonna go with, we're gonna go head all the way to the swamp. And we're gonna go through a number of dry washes that will be full of water soon once the wet rains come again. flashing batteries anyway that's the dozer path that continues on I may have to go change my battery <laughs> So I'm still on the bulldozer path, and uh, I've cut through here earlier, I was doing some exploration, and I'm just going to kind of walk along it. the first time I went along the path. I don't think that's this is the path I took. Oh. I think my path I took is over here. So there's part of the, one of the washes right there where it goes down deep. And then we're on top of this path here that the bulldozer made somehow. Here there, it's like a ridge. I seem to have got off my cut path that I made. See, there's more of the wash. There's my cut path, I think. Maybe not. This little bird. Man. Who's that, Malls? Who's that? Yeah. Somewhere here. The path that I cut through. Man, I don't know where it is. Over here? It must be over here. We got way off track. Yeah, that looks like it right there. Looks like I got off track. Anyway. Yeah. So right here. So there's the swamp. And up over there is the ridge. You can see this opens up way open. And you can kind of see this on Google Earth. Anyway, there's the swamp. Goes up that way. And goes down that way. Now let's go back to the path. My little path that I made. And then we'll go to the other. So this is a 
This is a north. What is it? This is the north part of the path. And we're going to go to the south part of the path near the pond. So there's my path going that way. Well, kids. She's such a good dog. And there's my path going this way. And you see my garden statue over there. So that last one was 330 steps. 330 feet. 110 steps. Paces. And so this one right here is 80. And so now we're going to walk up here to where we can find the stream. The swamp turns into a stream. So we're going to walk this way. It's much easier walking. I have cut a path. See, I bushwhacked a pretty good path through here already. This part of the wash is one of the dry washes that runs through. This is like a little nettle grove. It was a nettle grove. So I'll get done with it. Another dry wash. Dry right now, not dry during the winter time. Good job. <clears throat> okay, we're getting close to the stream. This is the northeast fork of the Union River. See it right there, right through there. There we go, look at that. Good dog, Malls. So So that leads on into the swamp and the northeast fork of the Union River. And the cool place is right over the top of this big snag. Let's go over the top of it. Let's go around it. <laughs> Forget about going over the top of it. That's not happening. This is really cool. And see either fry or minnows, I'm not sure. Right there in the water. And Molly's gonna do a little waiting. Yeah, it's good dog malls. It's good water, huh? Anyway, this is kind of a special little place right here. Little grotto. You can see that it's been carved in. To the bank. Well, I think those big blocks right there are clay. I'm pretty sure. Yes, good dog malls. There's the hill I keep talking about. 
or ridge it runs all along here and this little creek runs right along the bottom of it up that way till it hits KB archers and all the archery targets that they get really grumpy at if you go towards anyway I just thought this is a cool little grotto and worth uh, checking out Probably run my pump from up here someplace. All right, it's October like the third, and this was exploring day.